Welcome to our tutorial on how to clear your browser cache. A web browser is the program or application you use to access the internet. In order to visit some websites and web portals, you may need to clear your browser cache from time to time. In this tutorial, we will explain why and how to do it. Multi-factor authentication, also called two-factor authentication, is a type of security technology that requires users to enter two forms of authentication to log into a system. In computing, a cache is a hardware or software component that stores data so that in the future, requests for that data can be served faster. The data that's stored in a cache might have come from previous computer use or could be a copy of data that's safely stored somewhere else. Sometimes this cache collection can cause access issues. Deleting the cache data helps troubleshoot the connection or problems with displays, helps web pages load properly, and can improve how your computer performs. If your browser doesn't load the new version of a website, even if there have been changes to the site since the last visit, the cache can cause viewing issues. If your cache is storing old data from previous visits, you may encounter error messages such as cannot display information requested, or password is not authenticated, or others like the ones listed here. So what do you need to clear from your cache? You will need to delete the cookies from your browser's cache. The quickest way to get to this function is by holding down the Control, Shift, and Delete keys on your keyboard at the same time. There you will select Cookies, Other Website and Plugin Data, and passwords. There are currently five types of web browsers that are fully compatible with the TryCareForYou.com web portal. Microsoft Internet Explorer, though this will not be supported after August 17, 2021. Microsoft Edge, Google Chrome, Mozilla Firefox, and Apple Safari. Next, we'll show you examples of how to clear your cache. As we just mentioned, Microsoft announced they are phasing out Internet Explorer by August 17, 2021. Microsoft will no longer support IE after this date and instead will transition users to Edge as their recommended browser. If you commonly use Internet Explorer, you may want to start using Edge or a different web browser now to get used to it. If you are still using the Internet Explorer browser, here is how you can clear your cache. Hold down the Control, Shift, and Delete keys at the same time to open the Delete Browsing History menu window. Click on the Advanced tab at the top of that menu. Check the boxes for Temporary Internet Files and Website Files, Cookie and Website Data, and Passwords. Click the Delete button at the bottom of the menu window. Once the cache has been cleared, close the entire browser not just that one tab. Wait a few seconds, then reopen the internet browser and type trycareforyou.com into the address bar. Click your user type card, then log in with your credentials. Here's what the delete browsing history menu looks like in Internet Explorer. You must check the boxes for temporary internet and website files, cookies and website data, and passwords. Then click the delete button. The process for clearing the cache on Microsoft Edge browser is a little different. With the browser open, hold down the Control, Shift, and Delete keys at the same time to open the Clear Browsing History menu window. Select Cookies and Other Site Data, Cached Images and Files, and Passwords. You can adjust it to clear just the last hour of browsing history. You can also find other options by clicking the Down Chevron. Next, click the Clear Now button. Once the cache has been cleared, completely close your Microsoft Edge browser. Close the entire browser, not just that one tab. Wait a few seconds, then reopen the browser and type trycareforyou.com into the address bar. Click your user type card, then log in with your credentials. Here's what your screen will look like. Let's go over your options again. You can clear the last hour of browsing history or click the down chevron for more options. Some selections may already have a check mark. If not, 
make sure these three items are all checked. Cookies and other site data, cached images and files, and passwords. When finished, click the Clear Now button. There's an alternate way to clear the cache on a Microsoft Edge browser. Start by clicking the three dots in the upper right hand corner. Scroll down and click on Settings, the gear icon. This will open your Settings menu. On the left hand side, under the Settings menu, click the Privacy Search and Services selection. Scroll down just a little bit to the Clear Browsing Data function, then click the button labeled Choose What to Clear. Some selections may already have a check mark. If not, you will need to make sure these three selections are checked. Cookies and other site data, cached images and files, and passwords. You may need to scroll down to find passwords. Next, click the Clear Now button. Once the cache has been cleared, completely close your Microsoft Edge browser. Close the entire browser, not just that one tab. Wait a few seconds, then reopen the browser and type trycareforyou.com into the address bar. Click your user type card, then log in with your credentials. This is what your screen will look like once you have clicked the three dots to get started. Click Settings, which is next to a gear icon near the bottom. In the Settings menu on the left-hand side, choose Privacy Search and Services. Scroll down a bit to Clear Browsing Data and click the button that says Choose What to Clear. You can clear the last hour of browsing history or click the down chevron for more options. Some selections may already have a check mark. If not, make sure these three items are all checked. Cookies and other site data, cached images and files, and passwords. When finished, click the Clear Now button. Now let's look at how to clear the cache in a Google Chrome browser. Start by holding down the Control, Shift, and Delete keys at the same time to open the Clear Browsing Data menu window. Click the Advanced tab at the top of that window. Check the boxes for Cookies and Other Site Data, Cached Images and Files, passwords, and other sign-in data. Next, click the Clear Data button at the bottom of the menu. Once the cache is cleared, completely close the Chrome browser. Close the entire browser, not just that one tab. Wait a few seconds, then reopen the browser and type www.trycareforyou.com into the address bar. Click your user type card, then log in with your credentials. Here's what your screen will look like using Google Chrome when you open the Clear Browsing Data menu. Click to check the boxes for Cookies and Other Site Data, Cached Images and Files, and Passwords and Other Sign-in Data. Then click the Clear Data button at the bottom of the menu. There's a second way you can access this menu through Google Chrome. Click on the three stacked dots in the upper right hand corner of your browser. Scroll about two-thirds of the way down in that menu and hover your pointer on More Tools. In the submenu, click on Clear Browsing Data. The Clear Browsing Data window will automatically appear. Click the Advanced tab at the top. Click to check the boxes for Cookies and Other Site Data, Cached Images and Files, and Passwords and Other Sign-in Data. Click the Clear Data button. Once the cache is cleared, completely close the Chrome browser. Close the entire browser, not just that one tab. Wait a few seconds, then reopen the browser and type www.trycareforyou.com into the address bar. Click your user type card, then log in with your credentials. Here's what this alternate method looks like on your screen. First, click on the three stacked dots in the upper right hand corner. Scroll about two thirds of the way down in that menu and hover your cursor over More Tools. In the sub menu that appears, click Clear Browsing Data. Another type of browser you might use is Mozilla Firefox. To clear the cache, start by clicking the three stacked dashes in the upper right hand corner. 
Then scroll down and click on Options. Click on Privacy and Security in the left-hand menu. Scroll down to Cookies and Site Data and click the Clear Data button. If you use any type of password management program, you may also need to manage your history and logins and passwords. Once the cache is cleared, completely close the Firefox browser. Close the entire browser, not just that one tab. Wait a few seconds, then reopen the browser and type tricareforyou.com into the address bar. Click your user type card, then log in with your credentials. Here's what this will look like on your screen. In the upper right hand corner, click the three stacked dashes. Then choose Options, which is next to the gear icon. Click on Privacy and Security in the left hand menu. Scroll to Cookies and Site Data and click the Clear Data button. Then scroll to History and click the Clear History button. In the Clear Data menu, Check the boxes for Cookies and Site Data and Cached Web Content, then click the Clear button. In the Clear Recent History menu, click to check the boxes Cookies, Cache, and Active Logins, then click the OK button. The last browser we'll talk about is Apple Safari. To clear the cache, Start by clicking the Safari menu icon next to the Apple logo in the upper left hand corner. Scroll down about halfway and click the Empty Cache or Reset Safari. Select Empty the Cache and Remove All Cookies. Click Empty or Reset. Once the cache is cleared, completely close the Safari browser. Close the entire browser, not just that one tab. Wait a few seconds, then reopen the browser and type tricareforyou.com into the address bar. Click your user type card, then log in with your credentials. Please note there are many other versions of Apple or platform variations, and Apple frequently makes changes. If these quick steps do not resolve the issue, you may need to use a search engine and search for how to delete cookies and clear cache for your specific version of Safari or device platform. Thank you for watching. We hope you enjoyed this presentation and found it useful. Please follow us and like us on Facebook, Twitter, and YouTube at the addresses listed on screen.